What's going on YouTube? Joey Brook tonight back with another video on NBA 2K22. My team, as you can tell by the title of the video, it is pack opening time. We got these new packs that came out in the market uh, yesterday. Uh, today, as I'm recording this, is Wednesday. I'm late to the party. Uh, this is the Swish set, of course, and uh, you know it's got the whole comic book feel to it. You know, I'm digging it. I, I vibe with it. It's cool. Uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, back uh, with the equal chance packs that were like the takeover packs or the takeoff packs, whatever those were, from last season, it uh, looks like they give us a limit of two this time. And then the packs themselves are a lot cheaper. As you can see, 7,500 VC, 10,500 MT, which means pack odds on these are usually ass. Just saying. So, uh, you know, going in to these, opening these packs, you know, uh, and never expect anything good when they're this price. I just feel like the odds are lowered. You know, it's just the uh, illusion of, yeah, these are cheaper, so you can pull these cards, you know, um, without paying as much MTVC. It is what it is, but you have basically a 60% chance. We got a Steph Curry hero card right here. Look at all Wolverine-esque or stuff like that. He's just like, I don't know, it looks like something's falling on him or something. About to fall on him or something like that. Or big-ass cougars walking towards him. I don't know. We got Nate Thurman over here with the longest arms I've ever seen. I think those are his legs holding the ball, actually. Damn. Uh, apparently, his uh, three-point um, shooting, his hot spots have been fixed. I, I remember when the, game, uh, when the card first came out, he didn't have hot spots anywhere at the three-point line. Not even corners. Shooting guard power forward Pascal Siak. Probably the card I'm most interested in in this set. And of course, we got JJ Redick, uh, Alex Opal, Gary Payton II, who plays center. You know, that's why I feel like this Friday we're getting um, out of position too. I think they're like hinting at it um, with all these. Uh, with these um, out of position guys right here with Gary Payton and Pascal Siakam. Uh, that, that's my guess. You know, it is what it is. But with the equal chance, you got a 60% chance of pulling a dark matter. It is what it is. And uh, if you guys did not know, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video and you're into my team, of course, you know that there's a Drew Holiday Exchange Challenge right here for a free Drew Holiday. Um, you got to win 30 triple threat offline games or you can get it from the vault if you get lucky you could play one game or you got to play 30 games either or or in between win 15 tto games i've already won two i lost one it is sweaty as hell out there this is sweaty as the sahara desert it is as sweaty as a mailman's package in august if you know what i mean and of course you got to get five steals with the uh, reward card for you to get 15 tokens but at the end at the end of it you get um this really really good drew holiday card i've been asking for a while for a drew holiday card this is a dark matter drew holiday i mess with drew holiday i mess with this card very much i mess with his uh, amethyst for a while I love his jump shot it's all good he can hit from the corners it's good i like i always say he's pretty much uh i believe he's better defensively than uh marcus smart and uh i might not sound like that might not sound like a valid point only because marcus smart won the uh defensive player of the year but I'll still take Drew in that case. He is six foot three, but I love Drew Holiday cards. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. Go get that done. You only have a week to do it. Make sure you get it done. And of course, let's get into these Swish packs. I'm gonna open two of the Equal Chance packs, and then I'll have enough to open about six of these with VC. Then I'll open some with MT. I'm not gonna open too much because, you know, the odds are not that good. But uh, before I get into that, of course, uh, you know, don't forget to kill that like button. Get the video rolling in the algorithm of YouTube. It helps the channel out. It helps it grow. It helps reach more people. Help your boy out. Click the like button. Kill the like button. You know what I mean? And of course, most importantly, smash the sub button as we're on the road to 300 subs on that grind to 300 subs where I'll do another monetary giveaway. Shout out and congratulations to King James Vision. He won the 250 subs, um, the goal, the milestone giveaway. I already got him his prize. So, you know, let's keep it moving on the channel. And before I get into that, of course, in the words of the late great American poet Marvin Gaye once said, let's get it on. Going to start out here, hopefully, you know, pull a dark matter out of these. I really want Pascal Siakam. Wouldn't mind a yes, sir. Right away, pack number one. There you go. Boom. There you go. Boom. There you go. 
Love to see it. Love to see it. We get Dark Matter in the first pull. It'd be nice to get two Dark Matters. Doesn't really matter who I get. I would like Pascal Siakam, but it looks like we're going to get uh, Hero Steph Curry, which is cool. I'll take it. Not really much of a Steph Curry. Uh, I don't really like Steph Curry cards in 2K. Um, you know, just, just to say I didn't get his uh, Pink Diamond from last year, 2K21. In Season 1, I did not get it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Still, I take the card. It's all good. All right, we'll get into another one. They only allow you two, which sucks. It would have been nice if it was five, but it is what it is. And pack number two, and we get a pink diamond. I already have Gary Payton. Uh, I got him from the challenge pack. And we get a Kelly Oubre. All right, so uh, let's see. We'll just send that to the auctions. I'm pretty sure it's not going for much. Okay, we'll send that to the auctions. All right, boom, there you go. All sold out. Let's go back in. It should be gone. There you go. And also in this in this in this set, I mean, without the uh, equal chance, of course we have Invincible Steph Curry. I would really like to pull him because people are paying about 800 to a mil for this card. Why? I have I? I have no idea. I mean, hey, he must be a really big Steph fan. But it is what it is. First pack, we get another Gary Payton. Okay, he's gonna go for a bucket of peanuts and a roll of toilet paper. We'll just quick sell it. It is what it is. And then we'll go on eight. Really the uh, quick pack opening. It's not going to be uh, that much of a, of a pack opening. Not going to open too much. I have been seeing a lot of bad things about these packs. And, uh, you know, I do not wish to partake in, in, the, in the pain. You know what I mean? I went through a lot. I opened the, about a mil. Check out my last video. I opened a million, uh, about a mil MT at the very end. When I stopped the recording, I wound up pulling a uh, an Invincible Kobe. And, uh, you know, that was unfortunate that I didn't get it in the pack opening video itself. It was basically when I had stopped and I was transferring files and everything to edit the video. I opened two more packs and that happened. He just, it was like smack dab in the middle. Go check out that video. It looked pretty, pretty, pretty. And we get a third Gary Payton. My goodness. Come on. I'm tired of seeing these Gary Paytons. Come on, we got two more packs with VC. Then we'll jump into MT. And I figured since I'm opening with uh, VC, I'd have better odds, you know. But VC is clearly getting me uh, Gary Payton cards. You know what I mean? We'll send that one to the auction house. I don't know how much he's going for. One more VC pack. It is what it is. Any MT is good MT. You know that's the motto on the Joey Book the Night channel. And uh, yeah, looks like we get nothing from. Uh, you know, going with the BC. All right, and then we go swap that. Uh, can we add this to anything? Nah, we're good. All right, we'll sell that. All right, let's get into uh, MT packs, and we're gonna go on 33 in memory. Not in memory. It's not like he's gone, but in honor of Scottie Pippen, my favorite player of all time. You know, yeah, I can see the MT count that I have right now. Uh, you know, I was thinking, should I go pick up a uh, Scottie Pippen or not? You know, I don't know. I was thinking about it, but you know, even with Kobe, uh, I was playing with the card. I was using him in clutch time, and yeah, he does his thing like defensively and everything. But you know, I like to uh, have two ball handlers on the floor, and uh, I'm just I like I like uh, Richard Jefferson more than Kobe. People call me crazy for that. Uh, you know, somebody told me I had to check my temperature. But, you know, it's unpopular opinion. I know we get a shake right away. Okay, it's probably a Galaxy Opal. And that's a dynamic rating right there. This should be uh, JJ Redick. And yes, it is. Can I get it hollow? I have this card already. I forgot how I got it. I think I got this one from the challenge pack. And then the Gary Payton I got, I just bought it because I just wanted to do a challenge to get me to the next level. Uh, but it is what it is. We'll send that to the auctions. DeAndre Hunter. All right, we go on 15. See what we get here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like running Richard Jefferson. Uh, I'm really comfortable with that card. Uh, I know his jump shot like the back of my hand. So, uh, you know, that's, that's how it is. You know, it is what it is. And we go again. I didn't check the counter. But. Like I said, these packs I heard were just terrible and odds, and uh, you know, we get another opal. But it's not even something to get excited about because it's either dynamic rating or it's JJ Reddick, which is going for 
next to nothing. I mean, what, he's going for like six, seven K right now? Not many people are interested in JJ Reddick like that. We're running a card like him, you know? It just, it is what it is. Send that to the auctions. We're gonna send JJ to the auctions and we'll sell that Theon, okay. Go on, 21. For honor of uh, Tim Duncan, probably possibly the greatest small, uh, power forward to ever play the game. You know, might be an unpopular opinion, but you know, he's got the credentials to back that up. In my opinion, of course. Okay, we got Steph Curry right there. All right, let's put these on Will. Will be killing it for me in clutch time. Uh, my clutch time uh, center is Will. I run him at center. I run Dirk at power forward. Okay, and they're getting a whole lot of nothing here. Shout out to Corbin Kisper. Yes, sir. I like Corbin Kisper to get something done, you know? I did exchange for Sam Cassell in the last video. You guys, check that out. I uh, didn't use him much, just took him to shoot around. Uh, seems like, uh, you know, he's an okay card. Uh, I know uh, one of my subscribers was saying that they badged him out and he's, you know, he's really good like that. Um, you know, I was fine with the jump shot. It's a little awkward, the jump shot, but, you know, once you get the hang of it, you know, it, it does smack. It's, it's good. Okay, put this on Clyde. Clyde is my starting point guard on my clutch time team. That's why I don't even know. I was thinking about picking up uh, Invincible Penny and uh, that means I would have to sit uh, Clyde Drexler. Not too much of a fan of that sitting Clyde. I'm gonna open a few more packs because these things are just they're just not hitting at all. You know, I got the Steph Curry and that was good. I would like to pull until I get a dark matter, you know, but uh, at this point, at this at this rate, I can just uh, possibly buy uh, if I wanted, just buy Nate Thurman or um, Pascal Pascal Siakam. But uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, Tristan Chomp Thompson, okay. Tristan, Tristan Thompson. That's tough to say three times fast, I'm just saying. All right, we'll open like two or three more packs and hopefully, uh, you know, we get another Gary Payton right there. All right, we'll send him to the auctions. See what I can get for him. I, I haven't checked uh, what's the, the prices on those guys. Go on six. All right, I keep saying I'm gonna stop opening and I just, you know, it's sick. Sickening. Just keep open. It's sickening. You know. All right. We get Sandro Mamu Kalashvili. Mamu Kalashvili. I don't know, man. I can't. Sorry. I'm, I'm struggling with that one. All right. Go over here. Put these on KD. He's also part of my clutch time team. Go on 41 for Dirk. Let's see if we can hit some pay dirt. Come on. Give me a dark matter shake. Come on. Hook me up, 2K. Keep getting these Gary Paytons. My goodness. Look at this. Warriors everywhere, man. I'm a Dallas Maverick fan, so I, I don't really want to see Warriors. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Let me know guys, down in the comment if you guys are going to lock in for the uh, the, the, the set. Uh, I don't know who the player is, but I'm supposed to be getting uh, the uh, set for completing all the hero cards. The, the payable ones. Like we got the Hero Giannis, Hero Kobe, now now Hero Steph. You know, let me know if you guys are planning on locking that set in or whatnot. All right, sell that. And then this, we'll put this. Who's my other guy? Dirk right there, okay. All right, open this last pack, last pack magic, see if we can pull something. We'll go on 38, all right? Because, uh, you know, I'm just not having luck with these packs right now. Come on, 2K, y'all suck, man. I could say that because I'm pretty sure they're not watching this video. Or not going to watch this video, so it's all good. I could say that. Y'all suck, man. They go RJ right there. Give him a little pink. All right. And you know I got to do it. I always say it's the last pack, but this is the last one. All right. That's it. No more. This is terrible. Terrible odds. Yeah, nah, nah. I'm not doing this again. Spencer didn't really go on fire. Take that Washington jersey off. You're a maverick. You need to show up tomorrow. If the game is tomorrow, I'm not sure. But it is what it is. Anyway, that's the pack opening. Obviously, you know, didn't too, do too well. Got these two cards. Couldn't get uh, Pascal, Nate, 
uh, Dell and Seth, I picked those up. I picked them up for the cheap. I picked them up for like 20K each. Did their challenge challenges and just sold them back. I'm not interested in a dark matter father-son combo. At least not that one. Maybe when Scottie Pippen Jr. comes into the league and they give him a duo with his pop, Scottie Pippen, then I'll maybe run that duo. I'm not running LeBron and Bronny. That's not happening. But Pascal, you see right here, is affordable. And uh, Nate Thurman, uh, I know this. Nate Thurman's in, in the house. It's got to be. Yeah, Nate Thurman's down up here as well. <laughs> a lot of people like this card, but, you know, I don't think I would play him over Wilt. And I wouldn't play him over Invincible Dirt. That's just me. And we get Return of Heroes right here. Uh, you know, maybe, I don't know. I'll see. Because these cards are not that expensive. Um, well, some of them are. And this hollow thing looks terrible on that card. Just saying. Anyway, that's the video. Again, please, if you're new to the channel, kill the like button, get this rolling in the algorithm of YouTube, the video, and of course, most importantly, hit that, uh, smash that sub button. It's one of the grind to 300 subs, the road to 300 subs. Almost there, about, we're at about 264. I would love to get as many subscribers as possible. Uh, looking forward to fixing my cam and finally getting my OBS um, streaming stuff set up properly. Uh, I'm new to that aspect of creating so um, when I get that done more gameplays will be out and uh, a couple of series that I have in my head to uh, to do but I want to do it when I have camera with, you know with, my, with the face cam you know I feel like I'll be able to connect better and you know y'all can see my reactions and uh, basically see my game face you know what I'm saying the her the, the war face you know what I mean it is what it is I'm rambling again but anyway y'all know the deal y'all know the vibes this is Joey Brooklynite Peace out.